Hello everyone, and welcome back to another GIS remote sensing lecture video. And in this lecture video, we're going to talk about something called the dimensions of remote sensing. The dimensions of remote sensing. And so the dimensions of remote sensing are really four characteristics of remote sensing data that you need to think about. And we're gonna use this as a building block when we start talking about how we go about choosing the proper type of remote sensing data for a given application. And some of this is going to tie in, actually all of this is gonna tie in very strongly to our previous discussions on the remote sensing data structure and that idea of the, of the electromagnetic spectrum. And so what I wanna do is I want to sort of strongly tie in how these relate to the remote sensing data structure. And I wanna start that off by just reviewing the concept of the remote sensing data structure. And so we're just gonna quickly review what that looks like. So in case you don't remember, right, the remote sensing data structure had this concept of pixels which are the smallest fundamental piece of remote sensing data. So one of these things right here, we'll outline this in red, right? This right here, right? That is a pixel, right? Inside of that pixel, we have the value. And then we outlined this in terms of of rows. So each one of these is a row. And columns going across. All right, so we had a single band with rows, columns of pixels. And inside of the pixel, we had a value. And then you remember that in remote sensing, in particular, we tended to have multiple of these stacked together to form the image. And you'll remember from our previous video, having multiple of these that going this way, right? We called this the Z axis, right? This was band one, and this was band two. And we could keep going band three, four, et cetera, et cetera. So what I want to do is I want you to, to sort of re-familiarize yourself with the remote sensing data structure, and this will give you a solid foundation for understanding this idea of the dimensions of remote sensing. And in specific, there are four dimensions that we're going to talk about, and I'm going to list them in this video, and then we're going to give each one its own video so we can go in a little bit more detail. So there are four dimensions. There are four dimensions of remote sensing. The first one is called the spatial dimension. The second is called the spectral dimension. The third, the temporal dimension. Temporal dimension. And then the fourth is the radiometric. Dimension or the radiometric resolution. And so again, this is just a quick introductory video to get your head in the right space, thinking about this idea of the four dimensions and quickly recap the remote sensing data structure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna dedicate four videos, one to each of the dimensions. So if you have any questions at this point, please reach out before going forward. Thank you.